Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In today's tutorial, I will tell you about creating an animated walkthrough video in AutoCAD 3D. So using a walkthrough video, you can represent your ideas more accurately and clearly. Although a rendering can be used to represent your ideas of an interior architectural drawing or even exterior of a drawing, but using a walkthrough, you can represent it even more smartly. So AutoCAD provides you with the option of creating a short animated walkthrough video. So to create a video, I'll go to this visualize tab. So right now I'm using this AutoCAD 2016 version and I'm in 3D modeling workspace. And for creating this walkthrough, I'm using this sample drawing. And now from this visualize tab, we'll use animation panel. But right now we don't have any animation panel here because by default that panel will not remain active. To make it active, right click in the blank area on this tab and select show panels and select this animations. Now this animations panel will appear and it will have all the tools which are required. So now we'll create path for our animation. For that, go to home tab and now I'll move on to the top view. So I'll go to this home UCS in order to change the view and I'll click on this top view. And now I'll create the view required or the path required for the camera. So for that, I'll use this polyline and I'll start this polyline but before that i'll turn off this dynamic ucs as well so now i'll start this polyline from here and then i'll create a random path so i'm not creating this path accurately according to any particular geometry i'm just creating it in a random way and there it goes beyond the boundaries of wall so here we have it so now in order to remove these sharp edges, we'll apply fillet on the corners. For that, select this fillet command and go to radius and enter a radius of 2 fit and press enter. Select polyline and click on this polyline to apply fillet on all the sharp corners. Now go to the front view. So for front view, I'll click on this small arrow on view cube and it will move to the front view and you'll notice that right now our path is made on the bottom so we need to move it upwards for that I'll orbit this in geometry a little bit and now select the path and go to this move command click anywhere in the drawing area and make sure that this z axis vector is visible now when this z axis vector is visible enter a height of 6 feet and press enter now again click on this front view and now you'll be able to see the height of this so the height seems too much in this case so I'll decrease the height so let's select it again and go to this move command click at a point and now move it downward a little bit so for moving it downward I need to change the view so I'll first change the view again go to move command select this path click at a point and now move it downward to a distance of 2 fit and press enter okay now this height seems appropriate to me so I'll orbit this in geometry and now we can add the camera so in order to add the camera go to visualize tab and select this animation motion path button now this motion path animation window will pop up from this window here in camera panel select this path radio button and click on this small box now click at the path which we created using polyline give it a default name we don't need to change the name here so click on ok and now here in target so in target you can select a point if you want to keep your camera pointing to a single point but if you want your camera to move along with the path then select path so for this case I'll select path click on this small button select the path and give it a name okay now make sure this radio button is turned on if you want to see the camera also moving along with the path and now here is the core of this video so videos are generally created by multiple frames and right now the frame rate is 30 frames per second that simply means that in one second duration 30 different frames will be created so it is more than a usual number of frame so we can decrease this value to 15 and now number of frames will also decrease because the duration is one second so now here you can change the duration of video so let's change this duration to 30 seconds and we'll be able to create a 30 second video now click in any other field and you'll notice that now we have a total 450 frame video in 30 seconds now the visual style is as displayed which is wireframe which we obviously don't want so we'll select 
a shaded visual style for the first case and also in the format I'll select WMV although you can select MPEG or AVI formats as well. Now if you want your camera to decelerate or slow down at the corners then keep this radio button checked else keep it unchecked and if you want your camera to reverse along the path then select this radio button but we don't want it so I'll keep it unchecked. Now after making all of these settings click on this preview button to see how our final animation will look. So I'll click on this preview and here in animation preview you can clearly see how this animation will look. So let's wait for this animation to continue and also when you notice here you'll see that this camera is following the path here like this and this concludes the animation now if you want to see this animation in a different visual style then go to this realistic and now click on play button again and here we have it again the animation will be visible in realistic visual style Now we'll increase the duration because the video is taking very little time to complete. So I'll close it and I'll increase the duration to 50 seconds. And now click on this preview again. And here we have a slow motion video or an animated walkthrough video of this interior. We can change the visual style even now. So let's say that we want to change it to conceptual and here we have it, the conceptual visual style. So even during the playback of this preview, you can change the visual styles. Okay, so now we'll create the final rendering as we are satisfied with this walkthrough video. So I'll change the visual style to realistic and I'll change the duration to 30 seconds. And now click on OK. Specify the location where you want to save it. So I'm saving it on desktop. I'll give it a name. So let's name it as walkthrough and click on save. And now here we have the rendering. So now all the frames are being created and you can see the progress here in this progress bar. And also the preview is visible here, the animation preview. So let's wait for a moment. And as you can see that it will take about one minute for this rendering to complete. Okay, so our video is now created and we can open the video so let's go to the desktop so i'll minimize this and here we have this walkthrough video so let's open this video so i'll right click select open with and normal player and here we have the video you can even create a higher quality video by increasing number of frames and by increasing the duration of this video but more lengthy videos will take more time to render and also if you change the visual style to realistic then it will take even more time to create these kind of videos so in this way you can create a walkthrough animated video in AutoCAD 3D I hope this tutorial was useful to you if you have any question let me know in the comment box and and I'll get back to you as soon as possible and don't forget to subscribe to get more AutoCAD tutorials and tips from SourceCAD thanks again for watching